Well, the event is called Paranormal Crossroad Live, and it takes place at the Athenaeum that I've been saying wrong all morning in downtown Indy this weekend. <laughs> it could well be an opportunity to hear, well, to hear spirits talk. Joining us now to preview the Paranormal Crossroad event are KJ and Kitsy Duncan. Um, thanks so much for coming in this morning. And I, um, maybe it was unfair a minute ago when we were in commercial break, I asked you, is this real? Well, that's what I asked the yes. first time I experienced it. So it's okay, George. I think everybody wants to know that. <laughs> um, and, and, and tell me quickly the story about how, how you, you two met and, and, and the evidence you saw right away. Yes. So Kitsy had a sh actually has a show on Amazon Prime called Oddity Files, investigating um, places all around the world. I started having a light come on and off at my house, mm -hmm. and I started talking to it and it talked back so I had her come because she's my paranormal investigator friend um, and through that entire experience my father's voice came through this box wow. she couldn't have known that I had no idea it changed my life and a TV show was born and yes. and uh, and this box uh, I was saying earlier it looks like an old-school shortwave vacuum mm -hmm. tube radio or something. Yes. It's got um, the whole Ghostbusters vibe yeah, to it. Yeah, it definitely does. Hey, w w why don't we take an opportunity right now, and I don't want to rush things, but you've got a clip of, of explain before we get into it what we're going to see here. Yeah, so we can show you the odd box in action. This was from our last event at the Athenaeum, uh, where we had a spirit who, in front of a live studio audience, made us very uncomfortable when he told us to get out. Let's go Take to the videotape. I am not sure you shouldn't be doing this in public. Oh. Well, my spirit guy said it was fine. Wow. Okay. That was awkward. <laughs> yeah. But, well, it, with a live audience there, it's yes. not what you had planned. No, and actually Amber Hankins was in the studio audience with us, and she was just kind of looking at me, and I'm like, never happened before. <laughs> this was the first time we had done it in front of a live audience uh -huh. as well. So we did kind of think things through, panicked a yes. whole lot. Yes, yes. And then we headed back, and we decided we needed to make friends with whatever the spirit was. Um, and you've got another... Paranormal yes. clip. So I'm this is our say. this is our return to the Athenaeum to speak specifically to that spirit who was telling us to get out and see if we could become friends. Let's see if he changed his mind. And tell us your name. <laughs> Did you work on plays here or musicals? Yes. Yeah. I'm good. Did we just become best friends? <laughs> <laughs> Peace and love at the end. You bring peace and love? We bring peace and love. Yes. Thank you so much. You're, you're welcome. welcome. Now, is, w when you're in the Athen Athenaeum, yep. um, are you limited to spirits who are in that geography, or, or can I talk to my grandmother? You can talk to your grandmother. It's pretty amazing, right? It, it is. This box, um, that's what we were doing on the stage. We were trying to help people speak to their past family members. Uh -huh. And Melvin, who is now our friend, thank goodness, um, was stopping. He didn't understand what we were doing. He didn't understand why all these people were on stage. He liked order. But now that he understands that we're doing it for the better of people and the spirit world, I think he's going to help us along the way now. So it is absolutely an opportunity to come see the paranormal in action in a way that is not scary and also possibly get a message from one of your loved ones. And it is this weekend at the Athenaeum, Randall.